Hey y'all, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. And this package is from Lauren Cunningham. And Lauren has been here from the very beginning and I'm super excited actually to get this. Um, I love the way she packaged this. You know, when I was in Florida last year, I would buy these at the Dollar Tree or things like this one. This one's actually even nicer and thicker. So I don't think this is where she got it. it it's nicer made and I think I'm not sure, but Lauren, did you sew on this also? Because it looks like you did, girl. It doesn't look like they did. I think, yeah, I think you did, which makes it a lot prettier. Plus, it's like better quality plastic. Anyway, I would get a bunch of these because they're great for sending Happy Meal packages in. But I am so excited. This was so sweet, Lauren. You know what? I don't know what I'm going to do first, but maybe we'll do this one first. I'm so excited. I am not yet done your birthday package yet. I know it. <gasps> Look at her Memdex, Lauren, look. Oh, I love it. Okay, so Lauren, which is what's really amazing about this, and those of you that don't know Lauren's work, is that she loves vintage and she loves like shabby vintage, the intersections between those. I'm just looking to see butterflies. Yeah, that, but I didn't know you loved Maggie Holmes. So I learned something about you today. Um, because I know you love vintage and I know you love that sort of aesthetic. I didn't know you loved Maggie. And that's why I was like, wow, and she made me a whole magazine. Oh, look how, guys, it's amazing. Look, it's got the pinwheel. It says celebrate today with a piece of the oak book chipboard and the butterflies built up on the vase. Oh, and she, you did a great job. Did you ink that? I think she inked it, folks. The blue all the way around it's really well done and then one of these little flags it just says happy see why i love flags for maggie stuff i was just saying that with beth stuff right i love these little flags and then it says oh i love flowers wonderful day i love this lauren so much thank you i love it i love it so i also just learned that you like maggie i love that you did this is this not the most amazing idea, guys? It's like, this was really smart. How awesome is that? How awesome? It's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. I remember using it because I'm going to want to just... Oh, Lauren, and you sent me Maggie journaling cards with Maggie trim. Oh, I love these guys. You know what? I love... Sometimes I feel guilty using them for card making um, because they're or for cutting them down for a pocket letter because they're just so amazing. And they're great as a writer, like for all those journals is that you tuck them in and they're great writing spots. I love them so much. I really love to use them also to make ATCs. Cause like this kind of one, oh, they're amazing. They're amazing. Thank you for sharing that with me. And the also the Indian stickers. I'm so, this was such a thoughtful pack. Clearly, Lauren has made me like a writer's pack. <gasps> this is your weekly reminder that you can handle anything that life throws at you. Really? I needed this in the middle of last night. <laughs> but you're right, I did. I did actually, you're right. Though she, <laughs> she'd be but little, she is fierce. That's one of my favorite ones. Oh, these are awesome. Eat, sleep, hustle. I love that. You guys know that I love that expression. Oh, and a blessed one. These are awesome. Share happiness. Lauren, these are amazing, guys. She sent me so many. I'm just reading you like I ha make it happen. And whatever you are, be a good one. It's by Abraham Lincoln. That is so true. Okay, there are so many in here. I can't share them all with you, but I love these. Thank you. That was really thoughtful. Like, seriously, guys, you have no idea. There's so many. And, oh, they come in the hearts. You know how good these are for Valentine's Day that's coming up? These are so great. <laughs> oh, Lauren, you did this on purpose. You're so smart. We're home. <laughs> That's amazing. That is actually really amazing. Um, oh, and the K and Company tags. These are really hard to get. There's like this whole thing right now that like, let me see if you guys have never seen these, if I can open it. I have my scissors here so I can. Um, because, you know, rumor has it, if they're not already out of business, they were going out of business. So everybody who loves Kanko, like Jelly Bean really loves Kanko. And so we're all looking for her everywhere because it's hard to get now. They had it in Canada at a crazy price point, um, but they did have it. They didn't have tons of it, but I think they have more than, let's say, what I've seen in Florida. They don't have any here in New York. 
So I think that if you're lucky enough to come across some Canco folks, get it because it might be the last Canco. Um, of course, I didn't do this well enough to flip through. I'm like a non-flipper. I don't know what my problem is. I can't flip. There you go, guys. Now you can see how pretty it is. And these, I believe, it, these also come with writing spots. Like these are tags you can put into writing journals. Th that's also what's amazing. And they always leave the other side white. Um, and I think it's as much because they do realize that they're often used as tuck spots in books. That's exactly what I'm going to use it for. And we're not done. There's more in here. Oh, yes, there is. There's more. <gasps> Look at this card. This Okay, so take a look. And now let me tell you about this card. So this is that uh, series of stamping card that you do. This is looks, I'm telling you that this is actually quite difficult to do. Um, and you did an amazing job. I actually watched a tutorial on it and how to get this sort of chaotic movement without it being like a total disaster when you do it. Lauren, this is beautiful. And your overlay is really good. The overlay meaning when you layer one on top of the other. Really well done. I had no idea you stamped. See why I love getting these? Because now I know something else about you. That was not on your Memdex, but you're really good at stamping and coloring. And then she's added a flower here and a ribbon and it says happy birthday. I didn't know. So you see, now I know. And I won't read the whole note while I'm on camera. Aww. Oh, I'm so, I'm really glad you enjoyed it. I'm so happy that you watched. You watched from the beginning. You've watched from the beginning, but now I'm like rethinking some of your birthday because I didn't know you could do this. This guy's is, um, it's a little different than the other stamping. It's like very artful and it takes collaging technique and, but I didn't know you did this. So now I know because I have this beautiful card and it tells me something. This was super thoughtful. This whole package was super thoughtful. Um, I cannot wait to open the other piece because you made me all where did you find the big E? It's amazing. It's a big fuzzy E. Oh, my husband's like, what are you going to do with that? I know what I'm doing with that. I'm going to make me a hair clip with it. I guess it's better, I guess. Leave my E out of this. You hear him? Look at this. Oh, my goodness, guys. And she, this is beautiful, Lauren. First of all, take a look at the color. It's magnificent. The paper chosen is magnificent. It's like uh, like marble variation, variegated form of what I love. And then she has used, see how good the heart looks and it's propped up dimensionally. Believe in yourself, dreams are for chasing. Thank you. Make today great, you're beautiful, strong in love. Never stop dreaming. And it has the teal tassel trim look. And then we have the doily folded over like a bag topper with a teal doily and then never Never stop dreaming in the center. And we have the Maggie trim and then a collection of the flowers. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, oh wow. You built a belly band and everything. Card. Which you see, guys, look. That's a really great idea for a journal is to create a tuck spot with a belly band. That was a really great idea. And again, it's like a bag topper folded over. It says you are loved and let your light shine. And these delicate glittery these are really pretty. I've never seen this. See, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby since I've been gone, folks. But clearly, they're bringing out some. Are you going to be able to see it on my camera? I hope so. Let me see. There you go, guys. See that glitter? They're all glitter. They're beautiful. So clearly, they're called pastel glitter feathers. So clearly, they're bringing in some new products because I have never seen these. And they are spectacular for projects. Oh, my goodness. Both Maggie and Shadley, clean and simple. And vintage, actually. And you gave me more journaling cards. I always like my heart breaks. Oh, there's two tuck spots, guys. Look what Lauren's done. Hold on, I gotta show you. Like, there's a double tuck. This was such a good idea. So there's a belly band tuck and then a, large, a bigger tuck off here to the side. And that's a really great, look how much it can hold. Holy cow, Lauren. Let me get it out this way. I told you all my hands don't always work. Oh, see how much she tucked in here? Like, so that's, Oh, these this is so pretty. I don't know where that's from. So pretty. It's like bookmark pages and, and journaling spot notes. Thank you so much, Lauren. This is really Oh, and you're not done. No. No, she's not done. Because she's also tucked in. Oh, this these are so great. 
You can do it. So much fun. Give it a try. Friends forever. And then a whole bunch of the tab notes for the book. Dates so that I can work in dates and project dates. And these are really cute too. Thank you so much, Lauren. This was really beautiful of you. Oh, I like this one too. Especially with the numbers. <gasps> and the feathers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Guys, I know that, you know, you, Lauren comments. She does. And I'm going to put her links down below for you to check out her work. But you can see, like, what we learned today. She can also do this. Oh, yes, she can. Um, and her beautiful mem decks. And I learned that she, it's not just vintage and shabby, that she also really likes Maggie Holmes. Clearly, because that mem decks was all MH. So... I think what's really amazing about this is that we get to know each other so much better. Like, I feel like now I know you better, which is good because I haven't finished your birthday thing yet. And now I'm thinking I have to make some different choices. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Guys, that's Lauren Cunningham. You all know who she is, but I'm going to put the links down below anyway. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.